Hi, this is Frank Schaefer. I'm an author and speaker and progressive activist. Back in the 1970s and 1980s, while my dad, Francis Schaefer, and myself, then his nepotistic sidekick in the evangelical underbelly of the emerging religious right, were crisscrossing the country with C. Everett Koop, who would be Ronald Reagan's Surgeon General, and meeting with people like President Ford and President Bush at another time, hanging out with Republicans in general and fusing the Republican movement with the religious right that in the end, to fast forward to our own era, would result in Donald Trump becoming president. The big lie we told was that evangelical Christians and conservative Roman Catholics were the only people standing up for so-called family values. We used the family values argument against gay people. We used the family values argument against feminism. We used the family argument against women having careers. We used the family values argument against abortion. We used the family values argument against women having access to contraceptives. We were the Neanderthal male chauvinist white right. We were the people who presaged, who foretold, as it were, who opened the door for Donald Trump's presidency. I have spent the last five years, as you know, if you've been following anything I've been doing, standing up again and again and again and resisting Trump. I've been on the road interviewing and speaking for 16 different congressional candidates in the 2018 elections. I have been in communication with thousands of you via Facebook and Twitter and all the other forums. But at the same time, unknown to you, I have been working on a large project. Not a large book project. Yes, it is a book, but a large project that required a lot of reading and study. And what have I been trying to do? Undo the lie that the only people who represent family values are conservative evangelical and Roman Catholic Christians or conservative religionists of any kind, be those Wahhabist Muslims because they make the same argument in Saudi Arabia, we stand up for the family and that's why women can't drive and all this other nonsense. I've written a book called Fall in Love, Have Children, Save the Planet, Be Happy. Love, Children, Planet. And I have come up with a legislative agenda that I hope the Democrats and forward-thinking Republicans adopt of true family values. Paid child care leave. An easy ability legally guaranteed to return to a job when you take some time off to raise a family. Interchangeable roles for men, women, transgender people, non-binary and others when it comes to family structure. Social programs of a safety net for schools, daycare, and all the rest a high minimum wage so there are no working poor people having to do two jobs as single parents and even three jobs. My basis for this is not the Bible, although some of the Bible reflects good ideas about caring for others. My basis for this is evolutionary biology and psychology. That is why it took five years, because I'm not a scientist. There are no footnotes in this book. It reads easily, I think. But I've been spending my time trying to undo the harm we did, and I think maybe, just maybe, I've written an agenda for a post-Trump America when it comes to real family values and what will strengthen relationships. Hint, it's not your career. It's your family. Hint, it isn't ambition to do big, important things. It's to do what I'm doing. See the stains on my hands, taking care of my grandchildren in my old barn next to my house every day so their parents can work for them at home. And I do 24-7 child care and have now for the last 12 years. So please look out for this book. It's available for pre-sale on Amazon. It comes out November 2nd of this year, a long time from now it seems, although that's going to go by quickly. But I want to get the word out that that book is on the way because I think that it's going to undo the myth of right-wing family values and help replace it with real family values, the kind of thing that liberates women and men and transgender people and non-binary people to step up and put their relationships and love first and everything else second and then demand a legislative agenda from Congress and the Senate and our president 
in this era, while we have a Democratic majority, that really changes the way we do things here in America. So please look out for my book. Please do what you can to promote it. I'm going to be sending people via Facebook and Twitter advanced copies at some point. I'm going to be asking you all to help me get the word out to undo the damage my family did back in the 70s and 80s, holding up these false family values that have done so much to oppress women and families and have done nothing to actually help them. It's time to change that, and I hope that my new book will open the door to that. Thank you. My name is Frank Schaefer.